It's a very simple procedure and, in most cases, fairly cheap. But upgrading your computer's hard drive can increase your overall enjoyment of the PC. From analog TV to APS-C to media center computers, this is Tech Report. So the first step to upgrading your computer's hard drive is to, well, get a hard drive for your computer. Now you could go out to like Future Shop or London Drugs and pick up uh, a SATA external or internal hard drive. Um, those are usually fairly expensive. You're looking at about 200 bucks, uh, in my experience anyway, you're looking at about 200 bucks per 250 gig hard drive. However, another thing that you can do is generally cheaper is to buy an external hard drive like this. Um, and then pop it open, Take because inside the casing is just a regular laptop hard drive. Take the hard drive out of the casing and pop it into your laptop. Uh, I got this, it's a 250 gigabyte external hard drive. I got it from Staples Business Depot on sale for 150 bucks, which is a pretty reasonable price. So the first thing you've got to worry about is, um, uh, as I said, opening up the hard drive. So this is an, a Com Data. Um, it's got like a Samsung disk inside it, but it, they're pretty easy to open up. You just kind of pull the case and it pops open. This uh, should be what you're seeing inside. You'll be seeing the uh, hard disk uh, inside a nice little fancy, can fancy casing. So the first step uh, is you're going to want to get a screwdriver and there'll be four screws along the sides. You want to take those out. This one's already been pre-removed uh, to quicken the procedure. So once you remove those, uh, it's basically just a simple procedure of uh, pulling the, pulling the uh, casing apart, like that. And this is all stuff we're not going to need to worry about. And you're left with this, a SATA hard drive on a special circuit board. Now in order for this to be actually usable, you're going to need to uh, get rid of the circuit board. I pop it off the circuit board so it can go into your laptop. And that's uh, another very simple procedure, just using... Uh, screwdriver, you can, can remove the screws on the side. Yeah, that one's not uh, not the greatest screwdriver. I'll pop this one out. So yeah, as I said, you've just got the uh, four screws around the outside. This one's only got two because I've already disassembled this once, uh, and I'm just doing it a second time to show you. So pop the screws out. Um, upgrading your hard drive is actually a pretty, uh, pretty quick procedure. Of course, afterwards you've got to reinstall your operating system and everything like that and transfer your files over, but we'll disregard that for now. The actual uh, changing of the disks is a really simple job. Okay, so you've got the screws out. Uh, then what you want to do is you just want to uh, tug on the hard drive and out it pops. That's what you've, uh, you've got left over. And this is the important part, a serial ATA hard drive. This is exactly the same as something you'd find in your laptop. Uh, so, now we're going to proceed to the next step, which is putting it inside your laptop computer. Okay, so now that you've got your uh, hard drive taken out of the external casing, we've got to worry about putting it into our laptop. Now, if you just went out and bought a regular uh, SATA laptop hard drive, this is the step you'll be at now. So, uh, this is the back panel of my Acer laptop. Uh, as you can see, it's got two covers that we can remove. Now, my hard drive is under the smaller cover. Yours might be a bit different. Your RAM might be under the bigger cover and your hard drive... Or your RAM might be under the smaller cover, pardon me, and your hard drive might be under the bigger... Um, basically just trial and error, but um, from my experience, um, most laptops, it's under the uh, smaller of the two covers. So, there's two screws here. What you want to do is you want to uh, take them out, just like that, and then the panel just lifts away. And uh, this is... you should be seeing something like this. You've got... Um, a little wire mesh casing and um, a nice little tab to pull. So the hard drive, and of course normally there would be two screws here and here, but I've, remo I've already taken this laptop apart so I left them out to save time as I'm doing this project. So anyway, 
Um, you just want to pull on the tab, the hard drive slides right out, and um, this is what you're left with. As you can see, it looks very similar to our uh, regular hard drive, the one that, or the external hard drive, except you want to be taking the uh, one from your laptop out of the wire casing. Uh, the wire casing just provides a bit of extra security. Uh, it prevents you from touching the uh, underside of the hard drive, which is the most delicate part. So, to remove that, there's going to be four screws. Just like um, when removing the uh, external hard drive from its casing. So you want to uh, take the four screws out with a, an appropriate screwdriver. A non-magnetic screwdriver, preferably, I should mention, because of course um, magnets and hard drives don't mix, so you don't want to be uh, messing around with a magnetic screwdriver. Just a word of advice there, I've, uh, I've messed it up a few times. Fortunately nothing bad happened, but uh, it could have. Alright, so there you go, that's your uh, laptop's hard drive, your internal hard drive. Um, you're going to want to keep that in case something goes wrong with your new drive, or, or in case you've got data you want to take off of the old drive, or maybe you want to sell it, whatever, but, you know, or you can go ahead and smash it. I just wouldn't recommend doing that. And take your new hard drive, uh, pop it into the, in the mesh casing here, uh, line up the four screws, and then just pop them back in. Kind of tricky, but there we go. Uh, I'm just going to pop one screw in right now because I've got to uh, take this laptop apart and do some further upgrades later on. But this is just to demonstrate. So yeah, you would put all four screws into your um, into the casing, and then just line it up, slide it back into the computer, and you would stick your um, your two screws back in there. Once you do that, you want to put the uh, casing all back together, which is done much the same way you took it out. Slide it in place, tighten the screws, and uh, there you go. Now your laptop has got the brand new hard drive in it. Now we've got to test the hard drive to make sure it works. Alright, so now that you've got uh, your laptop's hard drive installed, uh, you want to put your battery back in your computer or plug it in or whatever, and now we're just going to test it to make sure that um, the hard drive is being detected by your computer. So turn it on, uh, and uh, it's going to boot up as no boot up normally. Well, it's not. What you want to do is you want it to get to the BIOS screen. And as you can see, I'm pushing F12, which brings me up to a menu like this. Uh, this is my boot menu, and uh, it basically what it is it's a list of boot devices, either the CD-ROM drive or the hard drive, uh, network boot, whatever. And um, I just want to make sure that uh, my hard drive is detected. See, I've got it select highlighted right now. The uh, IDE hard drive, basically meaning that. Um, yeah, all went well that my computer's detecting the hard drive, so now I can go on and install my operating systems. Uh, I've got a few. Probably you would only have Linux or uh, Windows, pardon me. And uh, installing Windows is pretty simple. Uh, it's a procedure you can do by yourself, especially with Vista. The instructions are very helpful, very clear. Uh, with Windows XP, a bit more vague, but um, you should be able to figure out figure it out pretty quickly because most most of the time you're not going to be partitioning or anything like that. And then you just can go ahead and enjoy your new hard drive. Make sure that you've uh, been able to transfer files and settings from your old hard drive either onto a USB drive or um, burn them onto a CD or whatever, and then you can uh, put them onto your, new, onto your new hard drive. So that's how you upgrade a laptop's hard drive for a fairly cheap price uh, by using, a, using an external disk. Well, from all of us at, at uh, Tech Report, stay hacking, everyone.